Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to pump out this old septic tank. And a real quick history, when I bought this property, it had been abandoned for about five years. And it's been uh, probably eight years since I've been here. This is our office. I also have a tenant here. Uh, and she told me that there was getting an odor inside the house. So I came out to check the tank. And yes, we need to clean that tank. It hasn't been cleaned in 10, 12, 15 years. So I'm going to go ahead and pump that out. And yes, we can do this legally. You have to check with your county to make sure that you're able to dump your waste in the landfill. Usually they, they have an area to just dump all the septic waste. It costs a little bit, but it's worth well worth doing. Save a lot of money over calling a another company out here to pump this out and the way that I'm doing this is I'm using a tote 600 gallon tote I've got a 750 gallon tank so I got to make two trips uh, to fill that tote up I'm gonna pump this out let me show you what we're gonna do the best way to get into your tank is to use a pry bar and pop this loose there it goes then we're just going to basically use that handle and you can see it pries it right up. This is pretty heavy, so be careful with it. But let's move it over and let's take a look inside of here. So this is the outlet end. You can see there's the inlet side. There's usually two lids on top of a tank and we're going to look at the outlet side. You can see the sludge here. It doesn't look too bad. Pretty much all water. But let's check the bottom of it. Yeah, I feel a lot of sludge down there at the bottom. So we've got about a foot and a half of sludge at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and pump this guy out. And what I'm using is a two inch mud pump. That's from Harbor Freight, by the way. And it comes with its own hoses. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this hose on down in the bottom. And then we're going to fire up that mud pump. So let's go ahead and open up the front lid just so we can check things out there as well. So you can see that inlet line is coming way inside this tank, but it's still working fine. We're going to leave this open so we can get a view of, as I begin to pump this out, we'll be able to see what's happening. If you've never had your septic clean, it's important to do this. That sludge on the bottom builds up. In other words, that's all the waste and the bacteria eats that waste. It drops down to the bottom of the tank and it begins to fill up. So it's kind of like a giant catch basin. So if the sludge builds up too high, it blocks the outline, the, the line that goes out to the drain field. And if that line blocks, then everything in the house will back up because there's no place for that water to go. So we need to clean this tank you know, usually they recommend three to five, seven years, and I know this tank hasn't been cleaned for at least ten. The sludge can become so thick at the bottom of the tank that even septic companies have to add water to break it up. I'm using a two-inch mud pump, and it's working really good. But you can see all the, the solids floating on the top. That's a good thing. Here is the outlet line going to the distribution box. And you can see I've got to add water directly. That sludge is so thick that the pump's now having a hard time pulling it out. A septic truck is a little different than a mud pump. They use a vacuum. In other words, there's no impeller. It's all air and it's sucking that sludge up. With the mud pump, there is an impeller. So things can get stuck inside the impeller. Never put anything except toilet paper down through that toilet never and remember I have a female tenant so there are some feminine products here and unfortunately they blocked up the impeller of the pump so if you look carefully you can see there is a Kotex applicator right there so I had to put the strainer on here this is a female tenant 
and there are lots of feminine products down at the bottom and it just kept backing up the hose clogging up the hose even had to clean the impeller so we're going to go ahead and start over with this screen we're almost down there i mean i'm i'm on the bottom right now but let's go ahead and fire it up again even with the screen on the end of that hose it kept it kept backing up so here in the next couple of scenes it's not for the faint of heart remember that the septic tank truck doesn't have this problem but the mud pump because we're using an impeller system to suck that water up things can get jammed up at the end of your hose and yeah wait till you see this next scene i'll slow it down really slow so you can see how much crud there is on the end of the screen look at that that's just disgusting <laughs> but you know what it's just crud we can wash that off with the hose and continue to pump and we'll get this tank clean and truly save you know what four or five hundred bucks doesn't sound like a lot but it didn't take long to do this maybe half an hour to an hour So now we've got, that's the bottom. You can see our outlet. See the outlet? It goes out into the distribution box, which is over here. And the drain fill is actually above ground, so it goes that way. Looking good, looking real good. We've got this thing good and clean. So now we just need to set the lid back on here. Remember, these things are heavy. Perfect fit. Let's do the back side. Twist that camera around. Can you see it? Lift it up. <laughs> Let's do the back side. Just remember, they're very heavy lids. They're tapered so that you can't really drop them in. Perfect. Now we just need to wash off the top of the tank, put things away, and we're all done. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.